We're gonna take this giant beast and we're gonna put him in the wild and we're gonna forcibly keep him alive. Okay, utilizing our utilizing our god tools. So we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna keep this guy selected. Go like this. Oh crap. Alright, so he immediately died. Alright, so we're back with species, which is uh, apparently, as some people have mentioned in the comments section, the drunken version of Spore, where you could do anything and mess with genetics via radiation or, like, using your godlike powers. But it's all very based upon science. And that's what we're doing over here. The University of Texas is involved, for God's sakes. They gotta know what they're doing. Alright, so one of the things I want to do today is I want to make the biggest creature that we can and see if we can break the entire ecosystem and then destroy the planet. I really don't know because the game seems to be fairly well grounded in the way stuff works. So I think if you make your creatures too big, the ecosystem won't be able to, like, allow it to continue to live and it'll just die. But I don't care. We're gonna try it anyway. I've been playing around with this game for fun. We're doing random because the random stuff that you get is freaking amazing uh yeah 250 creatures there's water now in the game let's do a lake yeah we're gonna do that and we're gonna generate our map some people figured out the uh the number that i did last time we're gonna do another one we're gonna see how many of you guys know this one nine oh two one oh there we go there's our map right there looking slick all right okay old, old gray's just gonna press some buttons over here um yeah a little bit of that sure some of this a little bit of that uh-huh yep sure okay yep more of that science Creature detail? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? It's my computer on the chopping block, so what the hell? Creature cap? <laughs> yeah. All right, I clicked on all kinds of stuff. We'll see what happens. I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, the great thing about random is this game can really generate some true freaks in nature. So I'm really hoping that we get something good to start with, and then we'll start messing with the genetic code. All right, yeah, blah, blah, blah. okay, that's fine. All righty, let's take a look over here. Mmm. That's a freak. What is that? It's like a bird elope. That's kind of interesting. Oh, yes. Sure. It's a scorpion beetle. Uh-huh. Someone had mentioned something just looked like a mutated pickle. Uh, this kind of looks like a mutated pickle on a skewer. It's like a bunch of mutated pickles. All on like a, like a giant toothpick. Okay. All right. Double-footed ostrich beast. Uh-huh, rock crab of power with two celery stalks for eyes. Mm-hmm. Mother of God. Uh, really, really dark turtlesaurus? I'm not really sure. Oh, oh, God, the random is the best. Oh, Lord. That moment when your head is literally suspended on a piece of pipe cleaner. Okay, all right. What is this? Any can anyone tell me what the hell this is? I feel like I want this to be our gigantic beast thing. We may have to grab one of these, bring it over to the nursery, and make this thing the biggest. Because this is the strangest creature I have seen yet in this game, and I've seen some friggin' doozies. This thing's like a green Charmander that, like, skipped everything but leg day. I, I, I actually don't have anything to say about this one. Um. Yeah. Oh, this thing's adorable! It's like a little furry tumor dog. Hippopotamus spider with only two legs. Okay. Oh, by the way, since we're using the water thing, we've got some aquatic species. This must be one of them. All right, we're using this thing. I, I, it's, it's the freakiest thing I've ever seen. We're going to use it. Let's go ahead and rip him out of his, uh, his little atmosphere over here and bring him over to the breeding tanks. Where'd my breeding tank go? Probably going to want two of these guys so they can reproduce. Is he annoyed by, like, not having oxygen or something? Yeah, it'll be fine. He'll, he'll evolve to the point where he can handle it. Alrighty, and they are, wow, they're already growing. Good lord. So this is what it looks like uh, when it begins to evolve itself. They breed pretty quickly too. So let's start messing with them. Let's go into the old genetics over here. Start doing some, uh, what do we got over here? Start doing some uh, genetic engineering. That's what we need. Science. Now, we want this thing to be freakishly large, but again, I don't know how large it's allowed to be before it begins to break the game. Let's go with a nine. Maybe that'll be fine. We'll give that a shot. Species genome. New Jersey Derpasaurus. There we go. All right, well, that immediately crashed the game. So uh, let's try a little bit less size. When does it stop getting, like, speed and stuff? Oh, its speed gets, like, way jacked down once you get to three. Let's do right there when it still has a walk speed. Let's try that. All right, I didn't like the New Jersey Derpasaurus. Let's go, uh... Let's go New Hampshire. 
Derpasaurus. So now it's time to splice the genes with the New Hampshire Derpasaurus. Let's see if it works. Uh, yeah, let's import, I don't know how many, whatever that. All right, time to let time take its course. Now we can fast forward things over here. Let's see if they get any bigger. It kind of looks like they're trying to get bigger. They're just dying very swiftly. Supposedly, like everything about the game changes, by the way. It's not just our creatures. You can see there's actually like trees and stuff growing in the background. The very fabric of the world shifts depending on what you do with your creatures. I think I'm gonna give these guys a little bit of radiation just to kind of spur things along. Natural selection and all. Well, I guess it's not natural at all. We're really starting to screw with them. The one there had blue eyes or blue eye chunk stalk things, whatever. It's, it's wielding like a, a stack of tomatoes or something for its eyes, but the other one had two of them. They are really starting to get pretty jacked up. I think they are slowly getting bigger. I almost want to take like two or three of these and put them out in the open and see what happens. Uh, yeah, let's grab a couple of these things. I'm gonna grab this one over here. I'm gonna put him over by the water just to just to see what he does. There you go, buddy. Go ahead and hang down there. How you feel about that? You enjoy that? Yeah, you got another little buddy over here. I don't know if he's resting or if he just, like, committed seppuku. Nope, he's dead. While our freakish beings are doing their thing, I think it would be prudent of us to walk around our landscape and take a look at all the other hideous beings that are around over here. You can see this guy's just floating via the power of telekinesis, which is quite neat. Anything going on in the water? I'm kind of hoping that we have some sort of leviathan level critters kind of looming around here. A lot of trees. Oh, here's a couple of creatures that like the water. It's a, it's a lot like the other one, only this one's sideways. The other one's legs were... Never mind, he just, he just died as well. I was gonna say, the other one's legs kind of were at, at the front over here, and this thing's legs are kind of mutating toward the middle. I, I'm not really sure. It's kind of flippery. It's almost like, um, it's almost like a, like a Loch Ness Monster type of deal. They're having a good time, it looks like. They're all enjoying being in the water. Never mind, that one just exploded. Oh, no, they all just exploded. I guess they didn't enjoy being in the water at all. They tried to pretend that they enjoyed being in there. Here we go. Maybe these ones are evolving to the point where they can exist in the water. Yes, you're all adorable. Have some radiation. I want to kind of take one of these and see if I can and see if we can crossbreed with anything in here. I think everything is so big right now it can't move. I think that's the problem. Like it's got they're, they're to the size now where their pa their body is unable to move their gigantic bull. Let me see if we can edit this at all. Limb length. Yes. Now the walk speed is getting jacked up. You know what? Sure, he goes to the gym. Tricep thickness. Go. Bicep thickness. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at all the stamina. Motivation. Through the roof. I don't really even know what this does. Like, giving it this level of motivation. I still want to get this thing at least cranked up to, like, nine. So, yeah, that looks fantastic. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a pyramidal bird with some bison horns and some really, really, like, like, Sesame Street eyes. Looks like Sesame Street eyes. I'm just gonna call this one sure. All right, you're all getting spliced. Congrats. Oh, oh, it's trying to exist. Look at them. They're popping in for just a second. It's, it's kind of difficult to get them to continue to live. But for like a moment, they come into being. Look at how large they are when they pop in too. They're all like freakishly big. Oh, here it is. Here's one of them. I don't know, man. I, I guess I'll I guess I'll put it over here. Like I don't know if it can even live in this climate yet. I think they're gonna have to go through like a lot of uh, evolution in order to exist somehow. See, this one's surviving for quite some time. Yeah, they're living much longer now. They're actually like starting to get out from. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, oh God. Oh, there was a huge one that just kind of popped into being for just a second. Yeah, look at this. Oh, it's. It's the face only a mother could love. I'm making little rovers to feed my creatures. One of them is called Malpractice. Just splicing some more genes in here to a couple of these other ones that are out in the world. Yeah, consider maybe maybe if they're closer to food or something like that, they'll be able to do their thing. These ones over here are still kind of getting somewhere now. Like, in their, and originally they could only get like one square away from themselves. Now they're at least kind of starting to move. Yeah, it's starting to eat this little tree over here. They're, they're starting to figure it out. Again, just walking through the utopia that we have created. The utopia of horror. With all the various creatures eating 
I don't really know. It looks, it's like giant spinach plates or something like that. Again, the coral and stuff is actually pretty neat. And I think that if you let things kind of like go on over time, yeah, you'll actually see coral form in different like plant life under the water. It looks like the water is getting higher and lower as time goes on. That's interesting. Oh, our world temperature is changing like crazy. Like it goes up from like 25 degrees Celsius down to 12 degrees Celsius. We're starting to lose a lot of species. The idea is that as time goes on, certain species will continue to exist because they're simply better than all the other ones and everything else will die horribly. We're gonna take this giant beast and we're gonna put him in the wild and we're gonna forcibly keep him alive. Okay, utilizing our, utilizing our god. So we're gonna go over here. I'm gonna keep this guy selected. Go like this. Crap. All right, so he immediately died. All right, I'm forcibly keeping this thing alive over here. It's not the biggest one we've had. It's seeking oxygen, so I guess it needs water to survive. I'm just like, I'm just continuously pumping it full of epinephrine or something like that to make sure that it continues to exist. Now, what happens when we, what happens when it gets in here? Is the oxygen going to go up or is it happy now? Oh, it's kind of happy. It, it looks like it's losing like maybe energy or something. I'm really, whoa, the health went down, health goes down real quick when it gets pissed off. I'm not sure what it eats. But yeah, when it when it runs out of food, man, it dies super fast. You can see my little my little guy over there is trying to feed it, but it's just the death comes wicked fast. It's doing a little bit better now though. Let's uh let's let's find a bigger one. Let me see if I can force a bigger one to stay alive. Okay. I've got one. It's a big one too. Oh, oh, don't you die on me. Don't you die on me. I'm gonna get you set up one way or the other. Yes, bring it food. I can't imagine. Like, it's just basking in the sun. I don't know why it doesn't have any interest in feeding itself. It just has no desire at all. It just kind of wants to hang out and let me do everything. Okay, so it wants to live deep in the water, but the issue is... Like, whatever it, whatever it is, it needs a ton of food. Oh god, remember when we crossbred them with these things? Look at what happened! They ended up getting the googly eyes! And they are starting to grow bigger. They're like bigger than these trees now, these things over here. Let me, how well do they kind of move around? He does alright, he's a little hungry. Actually, he's probably a lot hungry. It looks like he could, uh, I think they're grazing? I think that's what's happening here? Or they're, they're moving towards something. It, it looks like it's trying to get somewhere. It, it does eventually die, but it doesn't die as quick as the other one. Yeah, you can see, he's eating these plants over here. That must be what's happening. But they've, um... <laughs> They've inherited the eyes of the parents. Warm temperature, 20 degrees Celsius. Ooh. Uh, yeah, what happens if we make the planet really, really hot? There, 28 degrees Celsius. Let's bring it up enough. There's something else I want to try too. If we can't get, if we can't get a giant creature, hold on a second, let me grab you. If we can't get a giant creature with the body because it can't, it just can't handle it, what happens if we just make the limbs really big? Limb length, 99. Oh my God. Call this one Sadness Maximus. I really want this thing to survive. Oh! Oh, we got it! There is no way this thing is gonna survive. But, oh crap. But I wanna bring it out into the world so it can live for just one moment. Here, you beautiful beast. Oh my god. Let's pump it full of, with as much food as it can handle. Look at it. Look at its look at its glorious body. It looks like a giant balloon, effectively. Like, oh, it's freezing. It's free it's freezing, really. How what's the temperature outside? It's 24 degrees Celsius. Oh, now it's okay. Okay. I imagine it's going to starve. Yeah, it is gonna starve. I don't even think its mouth can reach any of the tree. That I think is the biggest issue it has. But this is it. This is our this is our glorious beast thing. Right over here, we have the glorious testis monster. You can see uh, he has cojones of steel from the uh, from the size that he's packing over there. We could probably take a look at the species just to see like what we've ended up with so far. I think if you just click on this, you can kind of like cycle through. Yeah, we got 21 different species. Let's take a look at what some of them are like. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. All right, yeah. Looking, what is this? What is this? It's just like a flattened Hershey's Kisses. Let's crank our, our like temperature way through the roof and see what happens. There we go. Warm at 70 degrees Celsius. Oh, everything's burning. Oh my God, I just burned. Oh, it's turning into a scorched wasteland. It's actually becoming, oh. Oh, wow. Oh, everything is dead but those few creatures. Okay, we're down to five creatures. Uh, let me see if I can fix this. Look at how crazy this is. As everything cools down, look all the greens coming back. That's so, that's really neat. 
Wow, there is only six beings left. These ones are all burning on fire. I can bring them back to life like this but all the rest are just completely scorched. So what happens if we drop it way down? We're down to two degrees Celsius. Actually, you know what, hold on. Let me, let me breed a bunch of these and then we'll drop it way down. So from extinction, our testicleosaurus was the one beast that was powerful enough to live through it all. How do you like that? What in the world? What is, what is happening over here? What is this? What the hell is this? Hold on, what is this creature? What is this? <laughs> Look at what it is mutated into. This this game is a freaking trip. Its legs are getting longer and longer as the species continues onward. It's crazy. Like they started to reach toward the sky. You can see every once in a while the limbs just like get really freaky and jacked up. It's crazy. All right, we managed to crash the game again. That was pretty cool, though. Uh, I got a couple of our critters left. They're back over here. You're gonna, you're gonna have to let me know in the comment section below, what else should we try in this world? I tried to make the biggest creature, but it just wouldn't exist. They can kind of start to live for a couple seconds, but I think their bodies are just too big. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to make the YouTube machine happy, I guess you can forcefully evolve the old like button. Until next time, folks, stay foxy much more.